EDM. Let's continue our game with the uh, crew of the Red Hawk or Red Tail. What's it called? I always forget. The Red Tail. Um, we had just jumped into Zoltan space. Um, in our previous uh, adventures, we had um, uh, lost Captain Perko to a, a strange um, disease. We had picked up uh, the vengeance ridden uh, Vincent. Um, uh, Engineer Zemo has now assumed the role of captain. And we picked up GM Foe from a. I <laughs> love that name. It's so strange. Um, we picked up GM Foe from a, a Federation base that was being assaulted by a rebel drone. Now we can um, begin our journey in uh, Sultan space. A small rebel research sta station overlooks a pulsating star. Before you can react, a rebel ship spots you and moves into attack. Now, this is um, a pretty tough situation because this ship has three shield bars. So. Um, let's go ahead and not control that fella. We need all of our guns to fire on the shields and hope that every single one hits. There we go. That's a good start. And we're gonna need to do that volley again. Oh, thank goodness. So, just to show you what happened here, we are right next to a pulsar. Periodic waves of electromagnetic energy will disrupt your systems. Um, and so, just before that previous volley, uh, the pulsar disrupted their shielding. Well, it also disrupted ours, so that's not great. But uh, that allowed all four of our lasers to uh, get through their shields, so that's pretty good. Let's load up another volley, and this is going to be bad for us. Because we don't have any shields right now, so... Oh dear. Alright. So, our guns have taken some heavy hits. shields are down, so Mr. GM up here isn't doing anything. We should get down here and start repairing. And then we can fire a couple uh, lasers off. Oh boy, we're getting pretty beat up here, huh? Let's uh, cause a little chaos on this ship by getting beat up over right here. And turn it this fella onto, or should we go for their shields or their guns? Let's go for their guns. Alright, we have fire in the um, mind control system, so let's launch that off. They offer you some of their cargo if you let them live. Uh, now they have caused enough trouble for us, we need to put them down now. Um, let's... a drone part and 30 scrap, which we will happily take. And then we need to see about dealing with uh, what has happened to our poor ship here. So, first we need to get our folks healed up. Vincent's fine. Um, and then our two Zoltan, two Zoltans, uh, Aki and GM phone need to get healed up. Our mind control device, so send everybody back to the 
infestations. And let's jump out of here before we get zapped again. There's a distress beacon over here we can investigate. You find the source of the distress call. A small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is starting to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Um. Oh, I think, uh, Captain Zemo is, uh, I think, you know, Aki and GM Fo as Zoltan's tending to, uh, have the religion of, uh, or their philosophy, um, peace and, and helping others, I think, uh, Aki and GM Fo are I probably advocate going in, but Zemu refuses to allow any of the crew to expose themselves to the fire, but is convinced to dock and try to rescue survivors. But unfortunately, um, you locate the highest concentration of life forms and bring the ship alongside the station. Before you can begin to offload the survivors, a huge blast splits the station apart. Your ship is thrown away, and some debris, some debris pierces your hull. You watch helplessly as the last of the survivors are consumed in the collapse of the station. So, um, an unfortunate and sad end. Um, and, uh, but we, we do loot, loot the station and, and take some scrap from it. So, let's, um, our weapons are starting to s seem insufficient, but until we find a store, it's not necessarily worth upgrading them. But what we could do is dump all of our scrap into um, this situation, which is uh, essentially, um, which is going to give us a third, a third shield bar, which is pretty great. But now, if we run into a store, we might might regret that decision. Let's do Bing. Around here. Let's see where that takes us. Or we could even do pop up, follow this course around. Because we did delay the fleet by a jump with our uh, buoys. So buy fuel for to scrap. Well, sure, we'll take it. A ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here and we'll take one fuel. We don't have much scrap anyway, so. Um, and then we'll jump up here. There are a few more zealots in their customs checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police team uh, beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons licenses, but things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. So, oh wow, that is a lot of Zoltan. So first, let's get somebody dealt with there. Let's get all of our lasers to start focusing on the ship to try to break through that super shield. Oh my goodness. Our Zoltan friend needs to be Absolutely destroyed there. We gotta get him up to the med bay. Um, Vincent is mind control. This is uh, this is rough going here. Um, let's rely on our uh, three levels of shielding to, to help us out here. senses it quick. Alright, so. Sorry, I've been a little... Uh, I've been a little uh, caught in the intensity of the 
situation. So, some of the things I've done here is I sent Simu over to the doors to make them harder for the intruders to break through. And then I've been trying to essentially ferry them up into the med bay where I can fight them on even footing or on, you know, pretty strong footing. And things have been going pretty well. Um, let's prep another volley from our guns while we're paused. And now you'll see they have to try to break through this door. Let's get GMFO out of there and get Vincent in. Now this is gonna be painful because when you kill a Zoltan, they... Oh, boy, that's a lot of damage that we just took. Okay, so we need to... We need to get, get our stuff handled. Um, this is rough. This is all very bad. We need to get our weapons repaired ASAP. That's a high priority. Because even if we hit all three of our missiles, um, it's not going to be able to... Oh boy, they took over Zemu. That's... That's not good at all. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. So, we countered the mind control with our own mind control. And thankfully that volley from their gun um, didn't do any damage that time. We need to get our fourth laser up. Basically, we have this in the bag. There we go. Alright, a difficult fight, but a well earned victory. Leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Uh, maybe not worth the, uh, the battle, but still, oops, sent them to the mind control room. Uh, perhaps not worth the battle, but there you have it. Um, Let's continue our sort of downward sweep. You catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from the space station before your sensors shut off unexpectedly. As you discover that your sensors are being jammed, you hear hostiles beam onto your ship. Until you are able to jump away from the hostile space station, your sensors, sensors will be disabled. You should deal with these borders first, though. Okay, so... Um, and then we're going to get uh, Mr. Simu out of there, and we'll mind control him if he's 
these fellas. there for a bit. Um, oh, oxygen had to come back. Let's get the meal done. Uh, but we got through. Something that I think would, uh, would be fun in this game is you often have encounters like that where it refers to a station doing something to you. Um, but you can only fight ships in this game. I think it would have been um, pretty cool to have, you know, ship to station combat something of that sort. I mean, frankly, it could just be a, almost entirely just a reskinning of, of what already uh, exists mechanically. It wouldn't have to really be any different, I suppose, but um, just a fun thought. Alright, let's give a moment or two for our oxygen to refill, because we basically had no oxygen going in that ship for a time there. See how the mind control has been um, paying dividends to us. It lets us take back uh, uh, Zemu when he's getting mind controlled. It helps um, reduce the threat of borders on our ship, and it helps um, cause chaos on the on the enemy ship. Now let's sweep down here, try to cut through the nebula. Maybe a bit risky. We'll see. Uh, you arrive at a Sultan security checkpoint set up in a perimeter around the beacon. Traveling vessel, you will submit to crew profile profiling to identify fugitives of the Empire. So we can uh, choose to attack because we don't have time for this nonsense, uh, which is uh, a little violent for a security checkpoint, but it's tough times. Um, we can submit to profiling. Or, because we have a mind control device, we can make the guards believe they have already checked your crew today. Uh, now that seems like the best solution here. The captain th of the guard appears on the fit screen. Back so soon, friend. Well, no need to waste your time further. Here, take these spare fuel canisters and get on with your mission. Your ship is clear to pass. Now that's quite fortunate because we were not low on fuel, but, you know, starting to get out of a comfortable area. Um, let's pop down here, cut through the... Sometimes it's hard to judge how quickly this thing will progress, especially when you factor in the, uh, the nebula, but I think this will be fine. The scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Uh, let's explore it. Scans reveal a number of asteroids with useful compositions. You extract some fuel. Thanks to the ace piloting of Captain Zemu, I'm sure. And with that, we have 19 fuel, which is a pretty comfortable amount. Now we're jumping into the nebulas. Um, you jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. It's a pretty cool image. We can manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment or avoid the risk and wait to jump away unscathed. Uh, if there's people in need of assistance, this isn't the most risky thing in the world. Um, well, I'm not sure. I think I think Zemu will, uh, will take the risk on this and see, it, especially if these are, um, uh, you know, otherwise fully functioning ships, we could get some pretty serious loot. Ooh, but um, despite your caution, the lack of detection equipment allows debris to crash into your ship, damaging the hull. 
you salvage what you can and prepare to, prepare to jump away before anything worse happens. Uh, we got five fuel, eight missiles, and 17 scrap. Not a lot of scrap, but quite a few of those other resources. Might be worth investing in a missile um, a weapon, considering we have 30 now. We need to get to a store. There's one up there. We could alter our plans and go... Uh, let's take the risk. Let's stay in the nebula for another, another beacon. The nebula turns out to be the hiding place of a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem to, they don't seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates and open fire. Uh oh. All right. Um, I forgot to explain the last environmental hazard, but essentially we were cut down to half reactor power, but now we get it all back. So let's distribute it back throughout our systems. Um, we're not going to be able to use mind control because we can't see into their ship because we're in the nebula. So we're back to good old fashioned, um, just the guns. Oh, this might be a bit of a painful fight. Let's see. Oh dear, that's not what you want to see. But 
well, I wonder, maybe we could get Ardeon. Uh, Ardeon is good at uh, piloting and guns. Now we don't need that, but uh, it's always good to have another crew member to help fix things if things break down. But I'm not sure that we can really justify the scrap expenditure on that. Let's see. This is as much as we can repair our ship if we want to hire Artyom. So I think I think we just need to fix our ship. We'll save a little bit of scrap in case we get a random event that um, heals us. And with that, we're gonna leave this system. Oh, this sector, I should say. Refuel and platform broadcasting reasonable prices in the spectrum of frequencies and languages. Well, this went so well for us last time. So, let's do it again. The automated fuel platform seems to be damaged. You can likely steal as much fuel as remains. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't think Zemu hesitates. Zemu uh, knows what's important here. And uh, while this might hurt somebody, um, much more likely this automated platform is the property of some mega, you know, mega intergalactic corporation that won't miss the fuel, so if you take the fuel, at least it won't fall into the hands of the rebels. You breach the containment and access what remains of the fuel reserves, which is five fuel. We have a lot of fuel now. So, we can go to a slug-controlled nebula or a mantis control sector. Neither are very appealing options. I'd rather face the uh, upfront guns of the mantises over the um, telepathic machinations of the slugs. Um, although, uh, I think Bigby and Vincent might uh, might be ready to get their their uh, mantis pincers on some uh, slugs. Um, it's interesting that our engine room won't quite refill fully with oxygen. Not sure. That might just be a little glitch, um, or it's just refilling very slowly. It just went up to ninety-eight. Not sure what's going on. Anyway, let's go to the mantis sector. We really need to get our our uh, guns upgraded. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your whole plating is up to scratch, and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. And uh, as usual, we deploy our distraction buoys. We really need to get our guns upgraded, but we're not in a great position with scrap, so... Tough uh, position. We'll figure it out. Oh, we have jumped. Uh, you arrive to find yourself extremely close to a star. You receive a message from a pirate ship. I'm glad you arrived. Our ship is damaged and we were getting desperate. I hope you don't mind if we take yours. Hostiles detected on board our ship. <sighs> um, yeah, these, uh... Intruders, uh, intruder events are, are pretty rough because you don't even get any scrap when you win. Um, but let's get you out of there. Go distract you. Give the oxygen time to vent out. And then get you to the med bay.
actually before another fire breaks out, we are able to jump away. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. We can avoid them or demand the surrender of their goods, and I think we're going to do that. Considering we are pressed for scrap, and we are in desperate need of a weapon upgrade. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They're trying to escape. Uh, which is to be expected. Um, there's a good chance they will escape us, but let's see what we can do. Let's start attacking their engines with a mind control. And then we need to get through their shields. Oh no, we're being hacked, and they've gone for our guns. That's pretty, uh, pretty rough. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to uh, stop these these folks. We didn't have a good, uh, lucky start. Yeah, not a chance. They're getting away with their, uh, with their supplies, no doubt. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my, uh... Ah, yep, there they go. Was pretty bad for us to be honest. Um, these are the problems of uh, having woefully insufficient uh, weapons uh, this far into uh, into space. Um, but we will press on. Just because the odds are against us doesn't mean that uh, we can stop. We don't have that luxury. This mission is too. You are immediately hailed by an impressive looking Mantis ship. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. So, that's pretty bad. Um, these fucks against each other. And there we go. Their ship breaks apart and you move in to scrap the remains. Three fuel, two missiles, and nearly 40 scrap. So we're doing pretty well here. Let's see you heal up our folks. You can depower the oxygen for a minute to make that happen. 
send everybody back to their appropriate stations. And let's uh, continue moving, desperately hoping to uh, find enough scrap to be able to upgrade our weapon systems. You find uh, an automated rebel scout near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. We can download its stores, or we can just strip it for scrap. Now, we could really use the scrap, but we could also really use the information that its data stores will provide. It's pretty strong, with three shields, and it has no life forms on board that we could mind control, so it'll be a tough fight, but I think we gotta go for it. Oh, great. It went well. Uh, we pulled the ship's data about the sector, and we got a missile, a drone part, and 26 scrap. So we can see that the only store in the sector is up here. So we need to make a beeline for that. Or maybe not a beeline, but... Uh, at this point, you almost expect to fight with the Mantis, but this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. You take the time to catch your breath and double-check the ship's systems. We need to try to get some more scrap before we go to this store. So if we can hit all three of these beacons and then the store, that would be pretty good in my book. A nearby Mantis a mining operation is clearly using heavy edgy slave labor. You briefly consider the possibility of emancipating the slaves, but the Mantis presence is too formidable. You decide to lay low. And uh, sadly, yes, that's not our fight today. Let's jump to this beacon. You fancy you see something moving in the shadow of the beacon, but all remains still. A rough couple of jumps, we really need to try to get some loot. This one should have a ship here. At the very least, that means something. Uh-oh. A rebel autonomous scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, but the ship finds you and begins to salt. So, the ship starts to power up its FTL drive. Oh no, if it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your possession. This is terrible for us. Well, nothing to do but um, try to break through its shields. I mean, we could tr really try to target one of the other systems, but... Oh, and we're getting hacked in the gun, so this is almost a certain loss for us. But, who knows? Never give up hope, right? Ouch, my shields. Yeah, well, we'll fire another. Let's fire a volley at the, uh, at the engines. If all four hit, yeah. So, sadly, it's gonna get away, and we just need to make peace with that. So let's go to the store. Let's preemptively jump away. The rebels are already here. The crew braces for impact, but none comes. The sensors report the unmanned rebel supply ship is malfunctioning and is stuck in venting mode. For a little scrap, you can take your pick. And, uh, take our pick we shall, if we can. Any scrap is not a comfortable amount. Let's first of all sell our drone. Um, so, a burst laser Mark II. That's a pretty great gun. I think we should go ahead and buy this. Um, which will also mean we can sell a basic laser, get a little bit more scrap. And it may even be time to sell some of our augmentations to make a bit of money. Um, you know, it's unfortunate because you, you lose uh, a significant amount of scrap in the, in the process because you sell it for much lower than you bought it, but given our current state, we may need to consider doing it. Um, but for the moment at least, we can just power this basic laser and charge up this burst laser, which um, I, th I think this is a, a fine decision for the moment. Um, 
we can't buy anything else. We don't have enough money unless we wanted to buy, uh, you know, some repairs or, or what have you. And I don't think we will. Uh, we have plenty of fuel. And we still have a fair amount of health, so let's repair twice. Why not? And then uh, jump. If we're lucky, we might be able to hit this, then this, and then this distress beacon, and before we exit. But let's see. Let's see how quickly the rebels advance. Something red looms. It's the Mantis, and so it is with a uh, powerful-looking ship. So let's let them teleport over first. Oh boy, um, let's have this guy target the shields. are ready to fire. Let's go ahead and launch all of them at these shields, try to break through those. We need to get our captain back on, um, back at the helm. are taking a beeline for the helm. So, we're having a bit of trouble here because these mantis are just running roughshod over my um, ship, and I don't want to pull any of my guys away, and I don't have strong doors, so I'm not able to trap them in deoxygenated rooms. Meanwhile, the mantis bombers' uh, shields have been giving me some trouble to break through, but let's see how this next volley goes. And here's where I wanted them to go, finally. They've gone into the uh, med bay. Let's get another mantis in there to back, back up our, our buddy. And then uh, we can close the rest of the doors on the ship and let them start oxygenated again. This big missile could do some bad business to us. Let's see what happens. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, so let's get folks back to their respective positions, but Big B will first that and then let's try to take down these um, uh, guns on the ship a little bit see what we can do there and oh 
hopefully once our uh, mind control gets repaired, we can uh, get that functioning again as well. Now there we go, the Mantis Bomber has gone down, leaving a substantial collection of useful scrap and a substantial amount of damage to our ship, sadly. But uh, so it goes. We're going to go ahead and um, open all of our doors to help vent that breach room. I thought that would work, but apparently not. Alright, let's get these guys back up here to... Uh... Oh, that's why there's no oxygen in the ship. Foolish me forgot to turn it back on. Let's get everybody healed up. Who's healed? Uh, a rough fight. I think the crew is uh, starting to really feel the wear and tear of this journey. But every fight that they survive, hope survives as well. So Captain Simu will return to the helm and uh, lock in coordinates for our next jump. We'll head down here. Uh, where a possible ship has been detected along with an asteroid field. You arrived in the asteroid belt and discovered that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here to prepare for a fight. Now this is pretty good. This doesn't have any shields because we're in an asteroid field. So the asteroids are just going to be buffeting this ship. And hopefully we'll damage its guns before it has a chance to fire that nasty looking missile. But no such luck, it would seem. Oh, there we go, nice. We managed, uh, managed it ourselves. And now, we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, continue firing on the ship, try to bring it down. And there we go. A turn of fortune for us. Uh, a relatively easy fight. And now we need to get out of the danger of the asteroid field over to this distress beacon, which will hopefully bring some safety. The uh, distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. Uh, hey, we've done this before, we can do it again. <laughs> we have a certain tactical advantage. Um, so, same as before, we fire on their uh, defense system. Um, learning from our previous uh, attempt um, and take uh, our salvage before things turn uh, hairy. And now we're going to jump to the exit, although this would be a good time to bump up our weapons even a bit more. Now we can have all four of our guns charged up at the same time, as long as we have the proper power allocated to it. And I think for the sake of that, we're going to go ahead and grab another uh, reactor upgrade. And now, off to the exit. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. You detect an automated Rebel Scout attacking a small refueling outpost. We will certainly intervene to uh, prevent um, the destruction of the outpost. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. And it has two drones and a couple of guns that are going to do some pretty nasty uh, work on our ship. So let's see what we can do here. Um, that was good. We managed to prevent any sort of uh, particularly nasty business. Now let's focus on the shields. No, no real effect there, but that's okay. Um, still did some weakening on the shields. Let's pop three shots at the shields and three shots at the guns. There we go, guns are down. Now we can focus fire on the shields. These drones are uh, no threat, they are all uh, laser drones, um, or beam drones, I should say, and 
so um, they have no uh, no no possibility of hurting us with with our uh, three shielding. Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when your ID is Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. And we deploy our distraction buoys to uh, throw off the rebel pursuit. So the exit's down here. And if we want to approach it from the top, we're going to have to do a big loop. Um, which means we won't really be able to this nebula. We can hit this one space on the nebula at least, which might help. So let's hit these three beacons, pop to the nebula, and then back up and swoop around. Uh, there are some mineral rich asteroids here that the Sultan have left idle, but you've none of the necessary equipment to mine them. So we uh, continue our jumps. Asteroid field. By, uh, you arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Sultan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be conf confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this, and that is correct. Um, unfortunately, we will need to turn our weapons onto these uh, Sultan. Um, our mission is too important to be slowed down by something like this. So let's give. I have an idea of giving the uh, the asteroids the the hard work of breaking through their super shield. Although now the asteroids have uh, given up the ghost, it seems. And my guns would have been recharged if I had fired it initially. So I feel the fool. But I also looked at their um, weaponry and saw that it wasn't really a threat. So. Let's go ahead and mind control this Sultan. And then uh, fire on their shields. Now if we get lucky here, we may even be able to... There we go. Um, we managed to kill the crew without destroying the ship, which is a difficult thing to manage when you are a, uh, a weapon-based ship like I am that fires a lot of lasers and things, but um, some other ship configurations can pull it off very consistently. Um, so it's a, a, ra a, a rare treat in a ship like this. With the crew dead, you are able to take the fuel out of storage. You also take all the scrap you can manage. And uh, it seems that uh, the Mark of the Beast has descended on us because we got six fuel and 66 scrap, so um, I hope that doesn't bode ill for the rest of our journey. Um, with that done, let's get out of here. I would upgrade our ship, but um, the asteroid field prevents that. I would like to go to the store quite a bit. alter our path, and instead just kill a lot of time in these systems. Let's go get, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to do here. That'll be on the 
this to us. Let's go down here and continue our original plan. You arrive at a Sultan security checkpoint. Ah, well, we know how to deal with this. Mind control. And the captain of the guard. Again, uh, such effective mind control even presents us a gift of true fuel. We have been rolling in the fuel this game, which is a, a nice feeling. Let's continue on, seek cover in the uh, nebula, but nothing happens. With, without active sensors, you have no other option to look out of the viewports and apprehension. It's eerily quiet. Um, and in the, this is relative safety of this nebula. I think the crew has some time to reflect on their journey so far and um, ponder their chances for the future, but also to conduct some upgrades on the ship. We are close to having enough scrap to really kick our shields into uh, the next gear. And I think that's a good thing to save up for, so I'll hold off on spending anything right now and consider that for uh, next upgrade. We could definitely go to the store still, but still perhaps not the most um, useful uh, thing now that I've made the decision about the shields. So, let's pass on the store, because I think the shields are a great idea. You jump in. You jump just in time to witness a Zoltan's ship's FTL drive overload. In his final moments, their captain implores you not to get involved. But it's too late. Their attacker is already upon you. Ah, uh, well. We will um, not stand for, for this. We will avenge the captain, despite his, uh, despite his imploring of us to stay out of it. Let's go ahead and start by breaking through this super shield. With that done, we can mind control this mantis. Thankfully that missile missed us. Um, let's try to... Uh, I'm not sure. No, let's, let's go for their, uh, their shields first. There we go, we managed to delay their missiles by, uh, I split up, I sent one laser at the, uh, at the gun, so that proved effective. There we go, I'm going well, going well. Um, let's see if we get... You get a frantic message, take everything we have, just don't kill us. Yeah, I think uh, Aki and GM Foe have no, no tolerance for this. Um, did they accept, uh, did these pirates accept the offer of the previous Sultan captain that they just killed? While this is a generous offer, we will not accept surrender, they will pay for what they did. turned out to be the smarter choice mechanically as well because we raked in 53 scrap from uh, harvesting their ship. Now we can upgrade our engines to max and grab another uh, reactor power up to help facilitate that because we're a bit strapped for um, power here. We could even still visit the store but there really is no point now so now that we've uh, expended all of our scrap. Getting a, a nice missile weapon would be uh, pretty good, but we'll see. Uh, you jump into a debris field that used to be a Sultan cruiser. Unfortunately, its engine escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates. They refuse all hails. Well, that's too bad. We'll have to, uh... Okay, they, they are hacking our engines, which gives us a significant penalty to our But their guns are really of no concern to us, so this isn't a particularly threatening fight. Let's go ahead and uh, mind control this guy. And then I 
can't resist the opportunity to get some heavy damage on the crew, so we'll do that. Again, not a mechanically optimal thing, perhaps, but uh, if we can kill the crew, then we can uh, take the ship, take the ship for our own. In fact, it might be fun to engineer that for our purposes. If I wait for the mind control to recharge, I can probably get them into the same room again and do the same things before. So, let's see. Seems to have no interest in um, taking the fight to the captain's area, so let's let these two kill each other. And then we can use our mind control once again. Oh, and <laughs> they didn't, uh, didn't finish each other off. That's all right. We'll just wait for our mind control to refresh. This also gives our uh, our crew time to continue improving on their skills. So, the NG are very quick at repairing things. Um, I probably should have taken the opportunity when I had it, but I didn't, so that's alright. Um, I'm, I'm drawing this out for maybe no reason, but in my experience, you seem to get better rewards when you don't destroy the ship. Which makes sense from the perspective of, you know, you're not blowing the ship up and making do with the scrap, so... So, uh, their shields are being repaired. Um, but we can do this. Boom, 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 boom. Get them both in the same room. simple to take this guy out wherever he chooses to go next. Ah, well, he ran off before the missiles impacted, which is alright. You can take him down now. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials, three fuel, a missile, and 47 scrap. Uh, 
sort of in this philosophically. And so um, I think he takes these uh, summons very seriously from, from an envoy of uh, the Sultan. So he's certainly arguing for it. And it's, it is exactly on the way, so I think uh, his argument might win out. We can hit this Distress Beacon, this Distress Beacon, then Quest, and then done. That, that should be a safe, a safe path. Um, you find the source of the Distress Call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control. Uh, let's talk and try to rescue survivors. And unfortunately, um, the station splits apart and we took some damage, but even more sadly, the, uh, the scientists are consumed by the station. We'll need to continue on our way once, um, uh, Zemu gets the, the helm working again. Meanwhile, let's buy another, uh, power upgrade and upgrade our shields. Now we have a beautiful four bars of, um, of shielding. Let's go to this next distress call. Uh, you jump, your jump interrupts a Sultan security ship as it follows a Mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message you. Your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. Uh, we can interfere to save the Mantis ship or to save the Sultan ship. And, uh, I think even though they told us not to interfere, we don't want them to um, be brought down by the Mantis. So let's help the Sultan. You overtake the Sultan and catch up with the Mantis ship in the asteroid belt. Time to make some friends. And let's uh, start things off right with a quick mind control on the shields. Let's fire on the shields to try to bring them down. Oops, I forgot to fire this first missile for a basic Well, that's alright. Um, let's get the shields down. We're good. We're just going to expose them to the full brunt of the asteroids. We do have a mantis that teleported into our O2, which is not great. But being exposed to the full brunt of the asteroids, uh, they're not going to survive long, and we can finish off this mantis in relative peace. Uh, as you're salvaging the mantis wreck, the Sultan Security Patrol returns with three other ships, and uh, wisely, we quickly salvage what we can and set off before they can stop you from questioning. We've been through enough Sultan security checkpoints to know what their security is like, so... Let's get our folks healed up. So, back to your positions. And with that, let's get out of the asteroid field. Down to our, uh, our, our new proselytizing mission. <laughs> you arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan, but the only thing nearby is a rebel ship closing in fast. We found you. You're not getting away this time. Uh, interesting. So, I think Simu is immediately, um, putting through orders to Aki as the gunnery sergeant to power up the guns, but, uh, I think Aki requests that we hail them, and Simu is completely unswayed, but Aki rushes to the, uh, um, helm and does so, and there's some thunder outside, so 
to lose power in this house often. But, uh, let's see. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Attempt to hail them. They open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The Rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete Federation. Uh, we could suggest a reconciliation of our ideals. We could say surrender. Your ultimate destruction is inevitable. We've left scores of rebels destroyed in our wake. Or three, your rebellion is causing millions of deaths. Your beliefs are dividing the galaxy. Unity is the only option. Uh, I think this is Aki speaking. Simu is, is, is crossing his arms and um, frankly furious at what he might perceive as somewhat of a mutiny. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals of our ideals without war, Aki says, frantic to uh, uh, believe in the, uh, the possibility of his philosophy succeeding. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end any way but war? I think Aki replies, um, true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Suddenly, all indication of the rebel ship fade away, and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes under bridge. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. I will personally assist. And we get two missiles. A drone part 69, scrap nice, and a envoy, a Zoltan, with expertise in piloting and engines. And, um, uh, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, I think Zemo is, is completely stunned. And Aki, uh, immediately rushes to make envoy at home, I think. Um, an envoy like this is, is uh, probably a, almost a figurehead in this um, sort of philosoph, uh, philosoph. I'm not sure if it's the philosophy or religion of the Sultan. Um, but we, uh, Aki rushes to make envoy feel welcome to the ship, and GM Fo, who I imagine more as a sort of a Federation man, not so much as a, um, uh, a Sultan at heart, um, or, or in uh, culture, I should say. GM foe is stunned as well. Um, but Envoy, holy smokes, Envoy has max skills and everything. <laughs> That's pretty great. Um, GM foe is max in shields. So we don't actually have a place where he would, um, you know, sort of save the day in that regard. But what he could do is go to where Vincent is and relieve him of duty. Because Vincent is very slow at repairing things, and uh, Aki's, or, or Envoy is much faster. So Vincent will be sort of a, will be our doorman. How about that? We'll save those stations. And I think the energy on the ship has uh, changed drastically, I think. Um, even those who don't ascribe to the Sultan religion can't help but uh, be overcome by the mere presence of Envoy. Um, so, I think the ship is uh, maybe filled with a renewed hope. But time is uh, always pressing and we must continue our journey, so let's prepare the next jump. But perhaps we can upgrade our ship before we do. Let's see. Um, some more evasion is always useful. Let's grab two upgrades in evasion. And another reactor upgrade. And then we can jump. You don't have time to hail the Sultan ship that was waiting at this beacon before it jumps away. They are a careful race. to be a Zoltan science ship requests permission to dock. Uh, we can dock with them. 
We have been studying the relationships between the species and have determined that the Federation still has potential to be a net positive for the galaxy. Please accept this gift to aid your journey. Two fuel, three missiles, and twenty-three scrap. Um, I'm sure that they are awed by the presence of Envoy on our ship. And, uh, let's quickly make our exit before the Rebels uh, arrive and overtake that beacon. Um, you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. It is a Mantis ship, and if you recall, um, uh, earlier we stopped by a planet that had, um, uh, Mantis slavers, um, in abundance. Uh, perhaps this is one of them. But, uh, we are certainly not interested in purchasing a slave, um, even for Zemu. Although, you know, buy a slave and free them, it's not as if we're keeping them enslaved, but, um, you know, I still think, uh, Zemu, uh, Zemu's immediate reaction is to attack the slaver scum. So we shall, and, and Vincent as well, um, filled with, uh, anger and, um, vengeance at, uh, those who took him prisoner, so... Let's attack the slaver scum. It looks as if they will be sending somebody to board our ship, which is all well and good, but let's uh, take over this Mantis. Oh boy, okay, let's try to break through these uh, shields again. sure. Let's save this decision for our next video, which will be uh, almost certainly the conclusion to this run of FTL. We've been doing about two 
sectors each video, so um, in the next one we will conquer either the abandoned sector or the rebel stronghold, and then our final uh, sector here where we will um, uh, return to Federation base if we're successful and, and deliver our, uh, our critical information. But um, until then, thank you for watching. I hope things are going well for you. And there's a lot of thunder outside my house, so that's enjoyable. I love storms. Ooh, lightning just flashed. Um, anyway, I hope things are going well, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.